Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. New location, check it out people. Guys, today's topic is going to be expect the unexpected. Think about that for a minute. If you like the content, please subscribe. So what does this mean, expect the unexpected? It means if you are in a narcissistic relationship or if you have just exited one or if you've been out of one for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about when involved with a narcissist. You need to expect the unexpected because many times when you would have plans to do things, they wouldn't go the way you thought. Now would they? No, they wouldn't because the narcissist needs drama. They need to control this, the narrative and the situation. And that's why when you have plans that are, seem almost too good to be true, it's because they are. It's because the narcissist can't have peace and tranquility. What they need is they need drama. They need chaos, confusion. They need to manipulate people, narratives, situations, circumstances, relationships. They need everything to be topsy-turvy. They can't have a semblance of just serenity, of just peace, of just enjoyment. They can't do it because they need supply. And the supply that they need comes from you and many other sources, many other human beings or events or, or plannings, things like that. But when you were in the narcissistic relationship, I'm certain there were many times when you were having a day or two that were just going really well. They were going great for you, actually. And you were like, wow, this is almost too good to be true, isn't it? It was. That's when you would have to expect the unexpected. You see, if things were going too good, too peaceful, and you felt like you were in a stable relationship, keep in mind you were with a narcissist and you didn't know what narcissism was back then. But if things were going too good and the flow state was actually happening, that's when the narcissist would throw a monkey wrench into this situation and they would crush it and they would blame you or have a rage fit or stonewall you or gaslight you or anything they wanted to just to make you feel invalidated or less than because they couldn't have a peaceful existence. They can't do it. They don't know how to do it because they need supply, whether it's positive or negative. That's what they need. That's what they thrive off of. That is their oxygen. So expect the unexpected. Another thing is this. Let's say the narcissistic relationship ended a while ago. Does, we won't put a time frame on it, but you know, months or years. And what do you think happens at times? That's right, you get a Hoover. You get a phantom email or a text or a phone call or something, something strange that's unusual from somebody you don't know. That could be a fly monkey. It could be the narcissist using a different means of communication to contact you, but that's a Hoover. And again, it goes back to the title of this video, expect the unexpected. Remember, the narcissist doesn't want you to be thriving. They don't want you to be existing. They want you to be in your own little bubble, kept on the shelf of the narcissist, so the narcissist can use you whenever they want to. That's exactly how they want you. So let's say the relationship did end a couple years ago, and you're going, everything's going great, you have a new love interest, you've moved towns, maybe you have a new job. Anyway, you're, you're put back, you're, all of your life is put back to, together in such a better, galvanized way before the narcissistic relationship, and everything's going great. And you've put the narcissistic relationship in the past. You've healed, you've grown, you've moved forward, you understand exactly that the, the toxic relationship did not benefit you. And lo and behold, boom, a Hoover. Wow, another, another way the narcissist tries to keep you around, try to keep you in the fog. But they can't do it now, can they? No, because you have the education and you understand that you need to expect the unexpected with the narcissist. Now, another thing is, let's say virtually with a, a healthy or a stable individual, you don't really expect the unexpected, do you? Because if you make plans or if you make future engagements and things like that, you know the direction you're headed in and you know exactly that you're gonna do your part to make sure it happens and so will they. But with a narcissist, it doesn't happen that way. Remember, with the narcissist, things need to be on their terms. They need to control the narrative, control the situation, control the circumstances. That's what they like. That's exactly why they like people around them that don't know what narcissism is and that don't have any idea about how damaging the narcissistic relationship can be. Expecting the unexpected, I'm not suggesting just, just to walk around like, ooh, what's going on? I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying that you are, if the relationship has ended, you need to be paying attention. You need, to, you need to have your boundaries sky high. You need to invest in yourself. Understand exactly how toxic the relationship was 
and that you don't want to be in another in another narcissistic relationship. They don't benefit you. They benefit one person, which is the narcissist. And keep in mind, the narcissist doesn't love. They have no empathy. They care about one person, which is themselves. That's why they have many sources of supply. Whether you are in the relationship or not, with the whole point is that the narcissist needs other people surrounding them, other people validating them. So in other words, you may be at work right now, maybe you're in the office and you are just a source of supply, like you're not in a real relationship with a narcissist, maybe it's just a working relationship that you see them once or twice a week, who knows? But they look at you as supply. Yes, they do. If they're contacting you and getting a rise out of you and hoping to get reactions out of you, that is supply. So that's why I'm suggesting many times the narcissist has multiple sources of supply, many that you don't even know about. And when you are in a narcissistic romantic relationship with a narcissist, of course you don't know what narcissism is, they have supply all around you, all around you, and you just don't know it. You have no idea because you believe you're in a kind, loving, one-way, healthy, stable relationship. Nothing could be further from the truth. What they're doing is they just wanted you to be in the relationship to make themselves look better because I'm certain you had beautiful attributes and beautiful ways to support them and make them look better in the public limelight or public eye, I should say, while the whole time they were abusing you behind closed doors. What a wake-up call that is, right? When you finally understand, oh my gosh, I was with this person and they were abusing me the whole time, pardon me, and I didn't know what it was, but then you find my channel and many others. And again, thank you very much for being here. And you get the education on narcissism. And you're like, oh my God, I can't believe this. You, you get light bulb moments. It's another way to expect the unexpected. You, you just never know what you're gonna get with the narcissist. Keep in mind, many times the narcissist lives in their own bubble. They just do what they wanna do when they want. And they, they literally just take, take, take. That's what they do. The narcissist is not a healthier individual who can reciprocate in a relationship. They are a one-way street to destructionsville. That's why exactly post-narcissistic relationship you need to maintain your boundaries and understand that this person never had your best interest at heart. They certainly don't now and they never will. So before I close the video because it's going to be a, clo uh, a, a shorter one, I just want to let you know, guys, if you're in the relationship right now, my hope is you're getting out. If you don't have the means to get out, my hope is you are looking for avenues to get help and to, and to be, get clear on exactly who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with. If the relationship ended already, my hope is you are becoming educated, enlightened, and aware, and doing the inner work and understanding that exactly you are the most important person on the planet. It's not the narcissist. No, they need you, you don't need them. And you may say, well, Andrew, the relationship just ended recently, I get it. I understand completely. You're probably still in the trauma bond. You're probably still putting the pieces of the puzzle together. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. I'm just letting you know that you have, you have a long road ahead of you. You've got to do a lot of inner work and process things. But once you've done the work and you understand exactly how toxic the narcissistic relationship is, you still need to expect the unexpected and maintain your boundaries and grow and move forward and heal and understand that not everybody has your best interest at heart. They just don't. They may appear to, but they don't. So. Again, before I close it out, I just want to let you guys know, this video is just, it's a friendly reminder to keep your boundaries up, maintain them, trust your instincts, listen to and pay attention to red flags, and always, always protect yourself, insulate yourself. Expecting the unexpected, it's something that I, I mention to people when I have sessions with them, especially if the relationship ended recently, because you never know what kind of curveball the narcissist could throw. You just don't. They remember, they have a short memory. They, they are banking on you coming back to them or banking on you leaving that door open a crack or banking on you being able to come back for round two, three, or 15 of more abuse. That's not what we do on this channel. We move forward, we continue to become educated and awakened, and we understand we are the priority. That's what we do. Once we get the education on narcissism, that's our superpower. We owe it to ourselves to use this to benefit ourselves, and no longer do we tolerate poor behavior in any capacity. What do we do? We remove ourselves from that behavior. We remove ourselves from those situations and the toxic people just like that. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from a new location here in beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay on the path. Continue to become awakened and aware and understand expecting the unexpected. What it simply means is maintain your boundaries, listen to your instincts, pay attention to red flags, and trust that you will do the right thing. God bless you. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. You are loved and you are beautiful. I will talk to you later. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.